The first was called equality in conversational turn-taking. During a meeting or a set of meetings, if everyone speaks at roughly the same amount, then that team is much more likely to succeed. Data-driven response covers optimal performance. How's your team tracking on this thought? Do we have equality in conversational turn-taking? Charles is a Pulitzer Prize winning reporter and the author of Smarter, Faster, Better and The Power of Habit. Because what they found is that the people who are on a team matter much, much less than how those people interact. That you could have enemies on a team together, or you could have strangers or friends or people who don't get along or all introverts or all extroverts. And as long as they treat each other a certain way, as long as there's a certain culture, then that team will gel. So as they started looking at these behaviors, what they found was that there were two in particular that mattered more than anything else. The first was called equality in conversational turn-taking. During a meeting or a set of meetings, if everyone speaks at roughly the same amount, then that team is much more likely to succeed. Data-driven response covers optimal performance. How's your team tracking on this thought? Do we have equality in conversational turn-taking?